What's up guys, welcome to new Unreal Engine 5 tutorial and today I'm going to show you on how to create a stealth takedown assassination, however you want to call it, in a very easy way. So, let's get started. Alright, so the first thing that we are going to need is this uh, animation pack. Uh, I will leave it in the description, it's totally free and it's actually the same one that I use in my combat system videos um, that I will be linking in the description. Alright, so we will be using this uh, paired knife uh, stealth kidney um, for the attack at the victim, okay? So basically just go ahead and grab it and just drag it into Unreal Engine. Alright, so now in the here, what we're gonna say is that the skeleton is gonna be the SK mannequin skeleton, okay? It's gonna be the normal UE4 uh, mannequin because it was made for this rig. We'll uh, convert it later into the new ones. So you say import all because there are two animations and here they are. I'm gonna just go ahead and move them into my folder that I created called animations. And if we go ahead and open, we can see that they're uh, perfectly plain. So I'm just gonna okay, let's put them in old because of course we're not gonna have the new animations placed uh, in this folder. So now what we are going to do is go in here, select this two, right click and go into retarded animation assets. I'm gonna duplicate them and retard it. We're gonna select this one, the UE4 Mani to UE5 Mani, and you say retarded. And then just move them into the animations folder. And you can see we have the animation playing on the new uh, mannequin for Unreal Engine 5. That's great. Go ahead and save everything. All right. So now what we're going to do is go and open up our third person blueprint. We go into the viewport. And what we are going to do is create a reference pose in order to um, kind of see where we need to place our AI later. So we are just going to go here, add a skeleton mesh and it's gonna be our reference well i mean ref post you want to call it it's gonna be a ref post okay so in here we're gonna select uh the for example the queen so it's the same one as a player and basically we're gonna select it to be as minus 89 okay and we're gonna place it in here and just rotate it so it's gonna be looking in front because of course it's a stealth take down so we you know the AI is not going to be able to see us okay so in here instead of using an animation blueprint we're going to use an asset and we are going to go ahead and select our animation so go ahead and find the uh, victim which is this one select it go in here and basically just um attach it in here so right now it's playing animation so let's go ahead and take the playing box so we are static and we are gonna go ahead and move around the initial position just to check so we can actually find where to convert our, you know, where to place. We're gonna go also into our player and make it the same. So it's gonna be an asset and it's gonna be the, at, uh, the, uh, the attacker. So we are gonna go ahead and reset. So we're gonna start moving it into position to kind of get a reference position. Okay, so I think I have found a pretty uh, good position. I will tune it later, but once we have our position, we can just go back into our player and just say, okay, so animation blueprint, and it's gonna be the same one, okay? So I will be leaving the parameters here. If you wanna copy them, and yeah. So right now, let's just go into the event graph. And we are gonna say that we will attack when we press, for example, the E key. Let's go ahead and find it. And when we press it, we are gonna make one thing, okay? We are gonna make a sphere overlap actors. This will just create an invisible sphere that will get everything that is inside. And if an enemy is inside, we will, you know, go ahead and capture it. So the uh, position is gonna be our get actor location. So we can go ahead and find it here. And the radius is gonna be around 200 I don't know what we will check the object types will make an array okay so we can access it and you say it's gonna be a uh, pawn so we are only gonna look for pawns which are the you know, the other characters so we're gonna get the return value it's gonna make a branch okay so we are only gonna continue if there's actually something that we collided 
And what I'm going to do is just drag this in here and make a a for each loop. Okay, we will look through a one. Okay, so we're gonna make it true here. And what I'm going to do is just say hashtag. So we are going to ask if our enemy, well, basically what we collided, has a tag called enemy. Okay, that we will assign it later. It has to be uh, written exactly like uh, like that. Okay, so yes, if it's an enemy, we will continue. And what we will do is go ahead, drag this guy and say move to. And we'll find this, which it says AI move to. So basically, this uh, will move the, you know, what we collided with, which will be the enemy into position. In our case, it's going to be the ref pause. Just drag it in here and say get weld world uh, location and just plug that into destination okay okay that's real quick so now what we can do is go here and make a new blueprint and it's gonna be a character okay it's gonna be bp uh, enemy let's go ahead and open it and we have a capsule set it up and everything let's go to mesh and that's assign uh the queen so we can have everything in sync and you say minus i 99 89 sorry and then minus 90 so be uh you know correctly placed yeah now you can just go into the map and just drag it in here so it will be facing that way okay so now we can just add a volume nav mesh volume so if you remember we said it so it's an ai move to so it will require a pathfinding solution. In our case, it's gonna be the map mesh. So it's just gonna create like a, a map, 3D map of the of our level in order where it can move. I have more details in of this in my you know simple enemy AI to draw that will be linked in the description too. Wanna check it out? All right. So now if I press play, uh, I'm gonna make one thing. It's <laughs> just in the here we're gonna select on our reference pose. And you say that it will be hidden in game because we don't want to show it in game okay we will go ahead and hit e and you see that nothing is actually happening and it's because we haven't set up this to be tag enemy so you just go here enemy set tag and you say spell it exactly as enemy All right now we can compile and save and let's go back in our third person character and what i'm going to do is just in here Go ahead and say print string. It's gonna just print hello so I know that we are colliding with something. Go here and press E. You can see that we have printing hello, but um, our enemy is actually not moving into any pose. So you probably are wondering, well, why is that? Well, let's go ahead and instead of making it, you know, through here, what are going to do is make it through the enemy. So. We are going to just going to delete everything. It's going to make it a custom event, which is going to be move. It's going to be move to, okay? So you can say move to. So move AI move to, all right? And we are going to create a new input, which is going to be the location, all right? It's going to be a type vector, and the location is going to be this one, okay? The pawn is gonna be self because it's the one that is moving, okay? All right, so now we can go back in our third person character and instead of doing this, we know that we are colliding. Uh, what you're going to do is just drag this guy and say cast to um, basically uh, BP enemy. Let's see, it's in true. And now we can say uh, move to. So we will call the function that we created. And now we will pass this position on here. So now we hit play, do the E thing. Now it will actually move into the correct position. Now the rotation is still not completed, but let's, you know, continue. So what I'm going to do is on the enemy, when it reaches uh, its point, what we are going to do is simply you say, play and M, montage and this will basically play an animation from the blueprint in our case it's going to be the uh, victim so what we have to do is just go back into the animations and in the well both for them just right click and create and then montage and there we go 
So now we can just go into the uh, victim, which is this one, and plug it in here. You just have to go in here and assign an animation blueprint that has not been created. So let me just select the queen. And now it will actually play the animation. So that's really cool. So also what we have to do is on here in the uh, player, we're going to say also play an M montage. Okay. And we are going to select to be the uh, attacker, which is this one. So if now we hit play, we just go hit E and then he's kind of moving into position and we are attacking him. But of course the rotation is like facing that way. So let's fix that. So what we are going to do is in here, in the move to event, we are going to add a new input and it's going to be the rotation. Okay. This is going to be a rotator and we just come compile and save. You just drag this and just set rotation, set actor rotation. Here it is. And basically it's going to pass the new rotation. So if we compile and save and go back into the player, we can just go here into the um, into the move to and the rotation you're just gonna say get world world rotation and now we can pass also the rotation of our reference pose so now we hit play it's still a bit bugged so this is a problem that always happens when you're messing around world and local spaces uh, you can see that for some reason our enemy is not positioning correctly so basically what he is looking at it just it rotates and is facing the left okay so let's go ahead and rotate the 90 degrees into the right to go ahead and try to fix this so let's test it now this is a trial and error pretty much and now it's actually currently playing so our animation is a bit off as you can see um this is just because of the the preview or whatever um, but you can go ahead and just mess around. So let me uh, just, you know, put it back into 90 degrees here just to test. And let's increase the preview pose. And also in here, we'll make the asset and we'll increase the preview pose. So in here, he's pretty much grabbing the neck. So let's go in here and kind of put it when he's grabbing the neck which actually we can, I think, place the same uh, point. And we can kind of move it around. So yeah, it's still not perfect, um, but you can basically go ahead and tune this in. Um, I mean, it's pretty nice, honestly. And uh, you can see that it will basically go into the direction that we are looking to. So yeah, guys, if you enjoyed the video, please like and subscribe. Comment what other uh, you know tutorials you want to see in the channel. We are so close to reaching 1K subscribers, so please me, please help me out and read this go. And with all that said, bye bye.